Okay, oh no, come back. Okay. Now. Let's put you over here. So much to do today. Look at our fancy new kennel. Okay, what kind? You wanted green. Oh no, more new dogs. Maybe I should have restocked on green food. Alright, did a missing kitty. Aw, what a couple. Oh wow, oh, where's that dog tail dog? Aw, but did a miss has gone through some stuff? Oh, while I was looking, a whole nother new one. Uh oh. This is not good. Okay, so let's see. Start grabbing these friends. Come on, gang. Let's go on an adventure. Okay, so it looks like we actually do not have enough room for these dogs, which is bad. Hold on. Am I gonna have to go into debt? Oh no, this is what I get for doing upgrades. Oh no, take! No, go, go away, we're closed. Oh shoot, okay. developers on to the rescue at Ox Shelter Simulator. Um, I work here for Little Rock Games and I do uh, programming, writing, and design. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of live gameplay of the game just to sort of show you what it's like. Um, I'm going to try and do my best and treat it as if I never played the game before and I'm just sort of exploring and figuring it out so you can see sort of what that the moment the game looks like. Um, and the game is uh, pre-alpha right now, so there might be some limited stuff in the game, some stuff that doesn't work completely fully, but hopefully there'll be a lot of really interesting new gameplay stuff I can show you all. Um, and I'm really excited to do that. So um, I guess you're here for the gameplay, not for me talking, so let's get started. Um, and I'm gonna hop right in and make a new game. got quite a few different character options, but I think I'm going to pick this one because she looks like me. If I can type my own name right. <laughs> Alright, and just like the characters, we have lots of different companion options here. I know the companion is sort of just a, a little helper for you who hangs around in your shelter and can give you advice when you're stuck. And uh, since I have my own dog and he looks kind of like this one, I'm going to pick this one and name him Keanu after my dog. Okay. Alright, welcome and thanks for playing this To the Rescue pre-alpha demo. I'm Cooper and I'll be your guide. This is a pre-alpha demo, so everything reflected here is still growing and changing. For now, you can run the shelter for an in-game week and help some dogs find homes. If you encounter any bugs or issues, you can report them from the pause menu. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and play it with the tutorial just to see how that goes. This is your shelter. There's not much here yet, but there's room to grow. Over here, this is the holding kennel. When new dogs arrive at the shelter, they will be here. As you can see, there's a few dogs already waiting to be processed. And we've got Cash, Roan, oh my god, they're moving so fast. Cash, Dozer, Roan, and Toby, and Dixie. Alright, dogs in the holding kennel cannot eat or drink, so you'll always be sure, so always be sure to take care of them as soon as you can. To do that, you'll need to build some kennels. Okay. So let's get started by heading to the computer, which is where you'll handle building, buying, upgrading, and more. Use the WASD keys to move. All right, let's head right in, right to the computer. Oh, now that you're near the computer, you can left click to interact with it. You 
can only interact with nearby objects and your current target is designated by an arrow cursor. Okay, so we gotta go build five kennels. So if we open up our computer, it looks like we are at the store right now. So looking at our tabs, we've got some options here. We've got the dog log, uh, which shows us What's the dog log show us? The dog log shows us all of our dogs in the kennel. We've got uh, a shop here, which gives us lots of different options, things like upgrades that are really nice, and, but I'm going to wait on that uh, just till I have some more money. Um, food to keep restocked, that sort of thing, um, but I think I'm going to need to head over to the construction to build my kennels. Um, Right, so looking at the UI over here, we've got some of these wood kennels, which are nice because they're pretty cheap. So I'm just going to go ahead and build five of these. A nice little line. Alright, and now I'm done. Yay, I did it. Alright, kennels are in the main shelter area, and they have food and water bowls, which that seems important. more stuff on the computer for later, but now we need to move the dogs using the leash. Okay, you can activate leash mode by holding left shift or pressing the caps lock to toggle. And then you can interact with them. Great. Alright, leash mode. Here's our leash mode. So when we do leash mode, you can see it points to a dog. And we can scroll to point at a specific one if we want, but for right now I'm just going to grab... Who am I going to grab? Let's grab Cash. Oh, those are the kennel ribbons. That's coming later. Alright, so what are kennels? That's where dogs live day to day. The smallest kennel can house and feed one dog, and each dog needs a home kennel. Okay, let's put Cash in there. So let's look at Cash here. Seems like they are jumpy and have allergies, but other than that, they don't have a whole lot going on. Uh, they prefer green bison food and seem to be in pretty good shape overall. And he's cute. He's got that going for him. Alright, more stars means more appealing to adopters. So that's what that means is how, um, how highly rated he is to most adopters. So that's good to know. So we'll pay attention to their food preference for feeding them. Okay, it's good to match them. Alright. Easy peasy. Let's go. I think he wanted... I'm actually going to go ahead and grab the water bucket too, just because. Because <laughs> I got two hands, might as well use them. Oops. There we go. Oh. Alright, adoption time. This is the moment of truth. drop my food and water right here, but I think I'm going to go put them up. Wait, let's stop by and see what Keanu has to say first. Oh, I already did that, buddy. But thanks for the tip. Alright, I'm looking for a dog that is trained. Look, each adopter may have preference for the type of dog they're looking for. These preferences may correlate to a dog's size, breed, traits, all of which are viewable on each dog's dog folder. So that's what we opened and looked at earlier. Okay, so they'll have different levels of resistance. And adoptability increases their willingness. And that's sort of the... Okay, so their willingness has to pass their resistance. Cool. So high welfare is good, high adaptability is good, trait matches are good. 
Got it.